coach Cody Walker. Um, grew up in Casino, on the north coast of New South Wales. Back to Walker, he's Growing up in Casino, I always knew that he was a, a football player playing at uh, Canberra Raiders and things like that. And me and my dad got talking one day, um, and he said that Billy, Uncle Billy, played in, for South, and I sort of was taken a bit back and asked him, "Did he play first grade and things like that?" And he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, he did." And um, there was one game, um, can't remember what game it was, but there was one game where we have all of our player numbers on the wall at at our games at Aiden Z and. Um, I tried looking for his number and I got our media manager to help me look for his number. Um, come across his number which was 704 and uh, I thought it was you know, quite a, a proud moment for myself having a family member also be on the, on the player number at South. Coming down from the bush as a young fella, it was really challenging. Um, didn't know what was ahead of me. And uh, to get down here and finally get into the lower grades of South Sydney Junior then work your way up. I believe it's a big achievement. Uh, coming from the bush was was really hard for me to leave my country, uh, my traditional home, my culture, my family. Because back in my days, there was no support. There was no training development. There was no scholarship. There was no, none of this stuff. When I was there, just a little black fella, just come out of the bush, barefoot, into the into the big time. Yeah, home is, is Tabulum. Uh, it's a little Aboriginal community between Casino and Tenerfield, 55 k's west of um, Casino. I grew up there on a, an Aboriginal reserve back in the early 60s. Cody Walker, Nathan Clear in the Haas. I suppose the biggest thing that I, I took as a young kid is I didn't want to give up on my dream. I had goals that I wanted to achieve, uh, play NRL football. I didn't want to stop at anything to get there. And, um, you know, being, being comfortable with being uncomfortable, so getting out of your comfort zone and, and things like that. And, Moving to new towns, you, you've got to try, um, you know, make new friends straight away and, and get comfortable in that uncomfortable situation that you're in. And the quicker you do that, the quicker you, you start seeing um, improvements within your game, within your life, and, and things like that. So that's what I um, tried to try to do when I was coming through. So um, I had a great support network in my mum and dad. Um, I do remember as a young kid, we, we planned on me going away to St. Mary's, um, you know, at an early age. And, I was sort of pumped to go away, but then as the time come along, I sort of said, nah, I didn't want to move. And so they kept me in the casino, and then it got time to, got to a point where I had to move. Um, and that was at 17, I moved away to the Gold Coast, and I found that a little bit easier, just because the Gold Coast is only about an hour and a half, maybe two hours away. To, to follow my dreams, I had to sacrifice a lot of things, and um, you know, I did you know, suffer from that homesickness, as we call it, and did miss home, but. My dream was too big to ever, you know, give up on that. And there was times where I did want to give up and um, had to sort of argue with my mum and dad about you know, going back to the Gold Coast because I didn't want to go back. Obviously, because I missed my family, missed you know, the boys in the casino and, and things like that. But um, as I said, my, my parents have been a huge support for me over the years, and um, I wouldn't be the personal player I am today without you know those sort of support networks. And even today. Uh, my dad and brothers come down whenever they can and they, they make an effort to, to really support me whenever I need to and um, always you know, willing to pick up the phone to give me any sort of advice that I, I, I necessarily need and it's helped me through to um, you know, play my best footy. After watching tonight's game, um, you talk about talent, you talk about knowledge, you talk about the skills. Well, there's one little Aboriginal person there, my nephew Cody Walker, he's got it and he's proved it.